and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. Uh, today is uh, God Friday, uh, Good Friday, and we are celebrating the Passion of Jesus. Uh, and uh, it's the most holy uh, day uh, during the Lent. Uh, so uh, today we will begin with the prayer that comes from, from the Missal. Remember your mercy, O Lord, and with your eternal protection, sanctify your servants, for whom Christ, your Son, by the shedding of his blood, established the Paschal mystery, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. So, it's a holy week, and here we are in the second part that is called Holy Triduum. So, yesterday we celebrated the, uh, the Last Supper, and uh, today, uh, Good Friday, is the day of victory that has been won, uh, and uh, we seriously contemplate uh, uh, the physical body of Jesus Christ uh, that met death uh, by surrendering to life itself surrendering to life itself and Jesus Christ emptied himself as he gave uh, of himself uh, to the Father uh, so that we could live and that we could uh, uh, claim victory for all of humanity uh, as Christians, as witnesses of Christ uh, and the victory that offers all of God's children through all generations the eternal life uh, bathed in the bliss of love. So Jesus Christ did uh, this out of a love for all um, and it is this love that we are invited to partake in. So surely we can uh, understand uh, uh, the, the will of God uh, and the plan for, for the world but only when we are immersed in prayer, in, in meditation and contemplation, because in this way we are receiving that something that comes from, from the Lord, which is his word and his message. And he promised us by following the road map that he reveals, and the road map uh, we are called to follow is the one Christ himself and he has modeled uh, that for us and road map that great saints and lovers of Christ uh, have revealed and traveled on their journey towards love before us. So the road map uh, guaranteed to deliver all the hearts uh, could uh, ever desire. Jesus Christ is the one who came to the world and experienced the fullness of humanity. Whereas simultaneously um, being fully divine and calls us to share in the Father's love until our life uh, with his uh, uh, will be with the kingdom united with the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. So it's a relationship that we are called, and we are in relationship. And Jesus' earthly journey, which ended in horrendous physical death, uh, reveals to us the uh, power of surrendering for the sake of love. And, and it is his love uh, where he will, we will find uh, the power to surrender as Christ did. So uh, that is the love that uh, Jesus emptied himself in order that he would love uh, fully and, uh, and uh, entirely uh, all his children and those who will follow him. So <clears throat> that we can fully live uh, as our souls cry out for uh, uh, and it is that love that we will sustain us uh, in all our trials, uh, just to sustain Jesus throughout his earthly um, uh, trials. So 
this Holy Week um, is an ideal time to seriously contemplate that road that we are on. And uh, each and every day of our lives, we are invited by God to choose, to choose Him with all our might and with all our love. But like Jesus, like Jesus in his earthly life, uh, we saw often, uh, Jesus observed, especially on this uh, Holy Wednesday, when the readings were <clears throat> of the betrayal of Judas, uh, um, what Judas did, mm, he, re he refused to enter Holy Week with Jesus. Uh, he refused to embrace his cross so, and to give uh, completely of uh, his life to, to Jesus, to that road map that Jesus uh, uh, prepared for us and he modeled for us. So um, to enter the Holy Week with Jesus uh, is embracing his cross as ours and to give completely of our lives in sacrificial and generous way as our Lord did uh, that Holy Week. So uh, it is a beauty of the cross, especially on Good Friday, and uh, it's hard to find um, proper words um, to, to, to speak of Jesus' love, so big, so consuming, and so inviting. And Jesus took on our pain, bore our sin, and surrendered all to the Father so that we could truly live, truly love. So Jesus was about uh, uh, love, and is about love and divine strength. Divine strength. He loved the people. He freed them from their pain. And uh, we are invited to do, to be with Jesus, to be Jesus. So uh, this, this part, um, um, we will immerse ourselves in meditation on passionate love. Passionate love, meditating on the crucifix. Um, and uh, two mystics, two mystics, St. Teresa, Teresa of Avila and St. John of the Cross, they share that um, Passion of Love, meditating on the crucifix. Um, um, and that serves to strengthen our connection between us and God. Such a bond creates very real uh, change in our human bodies. So, uh, as we now, perhaps for a moment, uh, uh, make camera to the cross of Jesus, we are gazing upon the crucifix. And we are invited to look deeply a passion, in passionate love of Jesus for the humanity during the crucifixion. And as you circle the crucifix, continually bring to your mind the heart and great love behind every pain Jesus suffered, physical, emotional, and spiritual. So, uh, we are invited to practice the breath of Christ. Breath of Christ is done by following way. You breathe and repeat the words, I love you, Jesus. As you repeat that, take time to enjoy this sacred space with Jesus Christ, our Father, and the Holy Spirit. No one has greater love than this to lay, to lay down one's life for one's friends. We read uh, in St. John's Gospel, Beloved of Jesus. So we are in the presence of God. He's all around us. So we take a moment of, the, of our breath of Christ Breathe in and breathe out. Ask the Holy Spirit to help empty our hearts so we can receive any word, any message God has for us. And allow our heart to be open to God's message. 
So we begin by looking at the superscription at the top of the cross, I-N-R-E, which means this is the king of the Jews. Call to mind that it is written in three languages of the day, Greek, Latin, and Hebrew. And we give honor to our Hebrew ancestors in faith what they carry for, for all of us. Their loss is our true gain. Without them, we would not have our Savior, Jesus Christ. And look and meditate on the nail and wound on Jesus' right hand. Look and meditate on the wound of his shoulder where he carried the cross. Look and meditate on the crown of thorns, his eyes, his face, his ears, his tears. Look and meditate on the nail and wound on his left hand. Look and meditate on his nakedness, the shame he bore for us. Call to mind the time in the Garden of Eden before shame entered the world. Look at, meditate at the nails and wounds in his feet. Call to mind the fact that he trampled over death. Look at, meditate on the wound of his right side. Look at the blood and water outpouring, the water and blood of eternal life. Look and meditate on his sacred heart. Allow yourself to rest in it. Feel what it feels like to be consumed by great love. And end by giving gratitude for the sacred time. Focus on your breath as you breathe in the breath of Christ. I love you, Jesus. Know that you are always in Jesus Christ, and Jesus Christ is always in you. Love with your whole heart, the one who offered himself with his whole heart for you, says St. Clair of Assisi. God the Father, draw us in your fatherly love. God the Son, continue to help our hearts, heal and forgive. And God the Holy Spirit, embrace us in your divine love writes Carolyn Burgers. So today, as we uh, are doing this special recording, and that special recording is for the person that we consider this important practices in our faith that lead, uh, leads us closer to Jesus himself and his Father and the Holy Spirit. So although we don't have uh, for uh, the second week uh, the Masses and celebrations here, but we are encouraged to watch and listen to the Mass in EWTN, broadcasted uh, daily at 8 a.m. We are also encouraged to read the scripture, and especially this time, if we look at uh, uh, enter uh, the, there is the periodical Magnificat that has daily readings and reflections, and there's a, also periodical uh, the Word Among Us, um, which both of them temporarily are available for free as a service to the church members. And uh, uh, pray, pray the Rosary, pray also the Chaplet of the Divine Mercy, and today. Uh, we start Novena Chaplet, so then as we 
uh, 10 days when we'll be celebrating Divine Mercy um, uh, Sunday, uh, we will start celebrate with, with, with the graces that we have opened ourselves. And also make spiritual communion in your own words, or use the prayer written by Saint Alphonsus uh, uh, de Ligori. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you in my soul. Since I cannot at this time, moment, receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually to my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. And uh, so today we also have the prayers uh, as we do it daily, so many of us, uh, and it's Holy God, and that is Holy God is, is uh, supplications, Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.